Streaming settings can be tough, but what if I told you it didn't have to be? In this video, what I'm going to show you is my Streamlabs OBS settings for streaming at 1080p. Let's get started. All right, so this is the first thing I wanted to show you because a lot of individuals feel, and I don't know if you feel this way, that you need a lot of beefy features on your PC for you to have a great streaming experience, or you need two PCs to get that done. Now, if you look here, this is the only PC I have. All right, I have an AMD Ryzen 5 2600, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, my board is a B450 Tomahawk board, which still performs extremely well. And I only have 16 gigs of RAM, okay? This is my machine, okay? Nothing really fancy, but I wanted to show you that out of the gate so you know that, hey, if your machine is way more powerful than this, then you're off to a great start, okay? The next thing that's extremely important is your speed, your upload speed, when you're trying to stream to services like Twitch or YouTube or X or even TikTok, right? So you need a great upload speed to use these platforms and get, and, and when we watch, right? We have a great experience when we watch. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you. The next thing that I wanna to touch on is speed tests. So we need to find out you know, what speed that you're working with. I'm somewhere around 35 megabytes per second. That is my speed, okay, for upload. Uh, yours can be three times, four times higher than that. So if your machine is beefier than mine and you have way more upload, then there should be no reason why you can't get a liquid smooth stream on the platforms that people watch uh, videos on or, or live streams on, right? So we're gonna run a speed test, we're gonna do this as we're recording this video because i want you to see this okay so my speed uh, typically is around 35 megabytes for my upload and my download speed is usually somewhere between 300 and 450 for the download so we're doing this in real time as we're recording this video you're gonna see once i start doing my upload speed my upload speed is going to stop somewhere around 34 somewhere around 34 to 35 megabytes for the upload speed. Now, if you have more than that, you are well you qualified, okay, to have a liquid smooth stream. So just wanted to tell you that, okay? So as you can see, I have 33 that I'm working with, 30, 33 megabytes uh, for the upload, and that's plenty. You know, I do believe that that's plenty uh, so now I want to show you a couple other things, which I think is extremely important as you're thinking about when you're setting up your stream, what's important, what isn't important. I want to show you these things as we're navigating uh, this video. Okay. So next thing that I have here is this page here by NVIDIA. Now NVIDIA has this page for NVIDIA GeForce and essentially what they're saying here, if you look at this particular line here, the objective of this guide is to help you understand how to use the NVIDIA encoder, if that's what you're using, NVENC and OBS, or Streamlabs OBS, which is this video. Uh, we have simplified some of the concepts to make this guide accessible to a wider audience, okay? Extremely important. Uh, so for the sake of this video, this is a 1080p video, basic guide to start streaming in Streamlabs OBS at 1080p. Okay, that's what we're doing here. So, so my focus is gonna be H.264 right here. And we're gonna scroll further down. I stream on YouTube, Twitch, and X. Okay, so you have H.264 here. Gonna scroll down some more. We did the speed test. We know our number already. Okay, so now if we look at this chart, this chart is, uh, this chart is extremely important. So when you look at this chart, what do you see? Okay, you see upload speed, bit rate, then you see H.264, HEVC, and AV1, all right? So I'm H.264, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look down. I said, okay, so at the very minimum, if I want to stream 1080p, I should have a bit rate of at least eight megabytes per second, okay? Now, if I wanna do a little bit more, right? 
based on my upload speed. So my upload speed is 35 plus. So I'm way down here, which is plenty, right? So as you can see here, if I want to stream at 1080p at the very minimum, right? I have eight megabytes per second here, right? Then over here, I have maximum over here could be between 12 and 15. All right, 12 to 15. Okay. So what I decided to do is, all right, H.264 at 1080p, 12 megabytes per second. That's plenty. That's over six, you know, some minimum requirements will say six thousand or six megabytes per second maximum you know 12 that is a good range to be in if you have eight that's fantastic if you do nine that's great but that is plenty uh for 1080p okay so i wanted to show you that so now what does that look like inside of the software itself so let's go to that okay so we're gonna go to the settings for streamlabs obs okay so general, I don't usually touch anything on a general tab. I just leave everything general the way it is. Uh, next thing you have here is the multi-streaming tab. So it says go live on multiple platforms at once with multi-streaming, connect your streaming accounts, uh, ensure the confirm stream title and game before going live option is checked and the general settings tab, uh, select which platforms you are streaming to and when to go live. Okay, so you have that. Now stream for me, okay, I use YouTube, I'm pinning on TikTok, hopefully they approve, Twitch and X, all right, these are the platforms that I currently roll with right now. So now the output, okay, so output, I have simple. Why did I choose simple? I chose simple because the stream doesn't have to be complicated as long as I, let's say I'm a viewer, and I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing on screen, as long as that's good, we don't have to get extremely complicated back here, okay? So I have output mode simple, okay, 12,000 right here. I have the NVENC new setup right here, 128 for the audio bitrate, which is the live stream or internet standard for decent audio quality so i chose that 128 now this option here enable advanced encoder settings you could check or uncheck that that is up to you okay that's up to you if you check or uncheck that okay and from there you can either set the p7 quality or the p5 quality which is good quality or p7 which is you know like the top quality for the encoder that's up to you to do that for the setting now since i'm doing this live and i checked it now i'm not able to go back to those settings which is fine we'll just keep going forward okay so the next thing that we have here is audio settings here specifically for your microphone and your speakers all right so i have my maono caster which is my audio board for my speaker and i have also the maono caster for my mic, which is the blue microphone right here. Okay. And sounds great. Let me know how it sounds. I think it sounds pretty amazing. Uh, the next thing that we have here is video setting, uh, specifically for my canvas and my output. I use 1920 by 1080. All right. Same thing for, for this section here, which is the output. I use the land coast or lank Zos downscale filter okay the fps type i use the common fps values and i also use 60 frames or 60 fps uh, for the value here i do not have any hotkeys set up not yet at least i don't have any use for that yet uh, advanced setup uh, the only thing here is double check for force gpu as render device uh, i let the gpu do most of the work okay and I don't think I did anything else in this particular page. Okay, everything else is pretty much what it was when I installed Streamlabs OBS. Uh, scene selections, didn't change anything there. Notifications, nothing there. Appearance, no changes there. Well, maybe you could change the theme if you'd like to do that. You have the option to do that. Remote control, 
didn't do anything there nothing for the virtual webcam i left that alone game overlay didn't touch that of course get support and then of course additional you know apps or selections from streamlabs you know with streamlabs ultra okay uh so that's pretty much the setting there okay so i'm gonna go back to this setup here for so i have twelve thousand right and 128 and for the recording settings which i just want to touch on real quick i picked my folder for that then i did generate file names without space okay i just checked that box and then you have same as stream for the recording quality so it's going to look extremely good i opted to go with mkv versus mp4 and the reason i did that is in the event that i'm in the middle of something and i have mp4 selected here if it crashes you lose that file okay uh, if you have mkv the file is somewhat salvageable with mkv versus mp4 so i selected mkv here okay and those are the settings but i want to show you a couple of more things we're going to go back to the web here and look at this page here which i think is extremely important now this is youtube settings according to their uh, live encoder settings bit rates and resolutions just wanted to show you a couple of things here now for youtube it says to stream at 1080p at 60 frames per second right the minimum okay oh, the record i'm sorry the recommended bit rate for h264 is 12 megabytes per second look at that right so now over here for the av1 and h265 10 megabytes uh, minimum bit rate settings for av1 and h265 right here at 1080p 60 frames per second four megabytes okay so depending on what you're using if you're using h265 you have your minimum here if you're using the for for the maximum you have your max here if you're still using h264 the recommended bit rate is 12 megabytes per second okay there you have that so next thing that i have here is recommendations from twitch these are their settings if you're using nvidia nvank uh specs uh things of that nature okay so 1080p 60 frames if you're doing the advanced you know setting stuff which you don't have to because you still can get a an awesome quality when you're using the simple setting i use a simple setting and everything looks amazing okay so here it tells you 1920 by 1080p uh 1080p uh bit rate 6 thousand okay for 1920 and 1080p it tells you the rate control if you're using the advanced set settings you're going to do constant bit rate uh, 60 frames it gives you the keyframe interval at two seconds preset quality and then it gives you the b frames at two now for twitch right it says the maximum audio bit rate is 160 so don't go above that but i would recommend not going below 128 so even if you were to do 160 in your settings and what i mean by that even if you were to do 160 right here if you choose enable advanced encoder settings it may bring it to the industry standard at 128 or it may just to make sure that you're running at the recommendations for the other platforms right it may adjust that even if you put a different number here okay but at the very least 128 i would recommend doing 128 okay if you do 160 you can max there uh, just by way of a side note i may even try 320 in there right because audio is extremely important you can test that but at the very least go live with 128 see how that runs and then you know mess around later with the audio bit rate maybe push it to 192 see how that sounds maybe go to 320 see how that sounds but you get the idea so some some notes there okay and the next tab i have here is for the x recommendations right so when you stream on x if you've never streamed there what you'll see is that your stream will be even if you have 1080p selected in your software, 
your stream will be at 720p on Twitter slash X. Okay. That's not your fault. That's just the way they have it set up right now. Even if you were to look at an account like an NBA account, when you look up their warm up videos, their live warm up videos, they will say 720p. That's what they're working with right now. But at least you're able to stream on a platform with your setting being 1080p and everything that you have on your side. When it goes over there, it goes to 720p. You still have good audio. You still have a good looking stream. And people who watch it and, and find you, it looks extremely good, right? So settings here, 128, right? We talked about that. Uh, 44 for the, the sampling rate here. H.264, 9,000 bit rate, okay? Which even at 12 in your settings, it will still be okay when it translates to the Twitch, uh, the X platform, right? The Twitter platform. So those are the settings there. I just want to go to the Streamlabs OBS uh, for one thing here, because we did talk about uh, the 44.1 here. I just want to make sure if we didn't, uh, 44.1 is what I have here and stereo that I have here, because I know I hit the page. And that's pretty much it. These are my settings for Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is an amazing uh, piece of software. It allows me to stream pretty much everywhere I want to stream, right? And I think they've done an amazing job with the software itself. So if you are considering streaming with Streamlabs OBS, I would definitely recommend you try out the basic settings first, okay? And uh, let me know how that works for you. I usually stream on Twitch and YouTube and X. Uh, if you've uh, been here and checked out this guide, uh, pop in and let me know how the settings are working for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, happy streaming and take care.